AI is a growing portion of the energy usage of data centers, and data centers are a growing portion of the electricity use in the U.S. Typically, the most common thing that happens to meet increased demand is that we keep an existing power plant online. Most of our existing power plants are still producing electricity via fossil fuels, power generation, always has environmental impacts. But what we know is that power generation via fossil fuels tends to have much tougher environmental impacts, both on climate change and on local populations. But most of the energy goes into powering the graphics processing units, the compute. And as these GPUs generate answers and draw power in doing so, they also generate heat, which means they need, we need water to, to cool those processes down to keep the, the machine room temperatures at, at a nice stable temperature. So, so we are talking about massive growth in data center infrastructure, energy use, and, and, and water use. Before the arrival of generative AI, there was a lot of optimism among all of the big tech hyperscaler data center operators in terms of uh, achieving carbon-free compute. At the end of 2022, we saw the advent of generative AI with ChatGPT, and it became very quickly clear that it wouldn't be possible to rely on renewable energy alone, given the size of the data centers we were now building. The conversation has shifted towards natural gas. The attention is also focused on nuclear because nuclear is a really stable baseload generation that doesn't suffer from the intermittency, the comings and goings of wind and solar. So that had, natural gas and nuclear has been increasingly a big part of the solution with massive investments from the tech companies in those generation sources.